If you're looking for style and comfortable furniture and want to know how to prolong its life, keep watching. In this video, I will be reviewing the Sven sofa and the Matrix chair from Article and going over how I wash and oil the leather and how I clean the velvet fabric. If you enjoy videos about minimalism, purposeful living, and reviews of quality home products, please consider subscribing to this channel. This sofa and chair from Article were the exact same ones we wanted to purchase for our home. Since they weren't in our budget, I decided to look online and found both of these secondhand and in amazing condition. Just a disclaimer that I don't know how long the previous owners had them for, but I'll show you how we remove new stains and keep them looking as good as new. This is our first leather couch, so I reached out to Article and they were extremely helpful about telling me how to clean it and what products they recommended using on this sofa. Start removing all dust and dirt by wiping the leather down with a soft dry towel. We personally like using a microfiber cleaning towel. Then remove all cushions and vacuum everything else. Wiping down, vacuuming, and fluffing the pillows are things we constantly do with our couch. It doesn't take very long and they really help maintaining the couch in good shape. Something we love about this couch is how deep the seat is. If you are looking for a sofa where you can lounge, relax, and even take a nap, then this is definitely it. Now that you clean the surface, it's time to wash and hydrate the leather. For this, I will be using the products Article recommends, which are the Saddle Soap, Leather Salve, and Leather Oil by Utterwax. You start with the Saddle Soap to remove any stains or marks. You will need a soft brush to do this, and I recommend getting this horse hair brush I found on Amazon. Make sure you check the description box for links to all the products in this video. When we first purchased this couch, it had several stains and what looked like oil spots from the previous owner. Thankfully, most of them came off after using this product. You add some warm water to a container, you wet your brush, and rub it in the salve to create some suds. Utter Wax recommends that you always test on a small inconspicuous area before using any of their products. After using this product, the leather will darken, but don't worry about that, this is only temporary. Use a brush to scrub any dirt or stains and wipe down the excess foam after treating a small area. I mostly wanted to remove some recent food stains from our 2 year old who likes to clean his dirty hands in our furniture. However, I always go back and try to remove some of those old stains that I couldn't get off before. Allow that to completely dry and follow with the leather salve. This product here is what will bring your leather back to life. As you can see, I used most of the container the first time I did this because the leather was very dry and rough. This salve works like a thick lotion that hydrates the leather extremely well. Depending on where you live and how close to a window your couch is located, you will need to treat the leather at least once or twice a year. We went a whole year this time and it was too long. We most likely need to do it two to three times a year. The salve takes a little while to absorb, so while we wait for that, let's move to the other side of the living room where we have our matrix chair. Like the sofa, this has a deep seat and is extremely soft and comfortable. There are not many negative things I can say about it other than in general, velvet is just a little difficult to clean. Like the sofa, we always vacuum and fluff the cushions to keep it in good shape. This time, I wanted to work on that stain on the seat cushion. I started by steaming and wiping down the entire chair making sure to go with the grain and not to leave the steamer in one area for too long to avoid damaging the velvet. This immediately helped tightening the fabric and it looks so much better. For the stain itself, I very lightly sprayed soapy water into a towel and rubbed it onto the chair. As you can see, it didn't completely go away, but it looks way better. Now that the salve is absorbed, it's time to add the leather oil. The salve conditions and brings the leather back to life. The oil will polish it and prolong the hydration and softness of the leather. Evenly apply the oil to the entire couch. This will most likely darken your couch as well, but will lighten once absorbed. I know this is a lot of work and for some it might be a deal breaker. You don't have to do all of this, but we personally want our furniture to last a really long time, so we don't mind doing it. We also noticed the couch was getting a strong smell the drier the leather got. Not sure why that happened, but that's recent enough for us to regularly clean it. Here's a couch right after I applied the oil, and here's a couple of days after once it was absorbed. It looks and feels so good. Both these pieces are an investment, but I highly recommend them. 
I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button and make sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.